Actually, the anatomical features of the lateral surface of the scapula are quite enough for a successful identification of the animal species. Specifically, we consider first the outline or the shape of the scapula, second, the ratio of the size of the supraspinous fossa to that of the infraspinous fossa, and lastly, how the scapular spine terminates. As you see, the scapula of horse is triangular in shape. Size of the infraspinous fossa is two times that of the supraspinous fossa, and the spine fades out towards the neck. Meanwhile, in large ruminants like ox or small ruminants like sheep and goat, the scapula is typically triangular in shape. Size of the infraspinous fossa is three times that of the supraspinous fossa. The spine finishes towards the cranial border abruptly by a chromium process. In dog, the scapula is uh, quadricided and girded. The sizes of supraspinous fossa and infraspinous fossa are almost equal. Spine of the scapula has no tuber but has angled acromion.